As the Lebanese people grapple with an economic crisis that the World Bank has dubbed the worst since the mid-19th century, the government hiked fuel prices by more than 35% on Tuesday. The aim to relieve pressure on the country's currency reserves, while also easing massive fuel shortages that for weeks have seen crowds queuing up at petrol stations, with scuffles between motorists commonplace. I'm not thinking about whether the price rises or not. I have a family, we rent, we have a thousand things to pay for. Pretty soon people will be killing each other for fuel. They increase the prices and the lines increase. Something's wrong with this country. Fuel importers blame the drastic shortages on the central bank's delay in opening credit lines to fund imports due to an exhaustion of Lebanon's foreign currency reserves. The country's deep economic crisis has forced the government to rely on these reserves, which have dropped dangerously low from $30 billion at the start of the crisis to nearly $15 billion currently. In less than two years, the economic collapse has sunk the Lebanese currency by more than 90%. The fuel hikes come the same week that a sharp currency devaluation brought angry protesters out onto the streets. The Lebanese pound has been officially pegged to the dollar at £1,507 since 1997. On Saturday, it traded at up to £17,500 to the dollar on the black market, an all-time low.